Yo, what's going on guys? Hope all's well. Today is June 6th, 2024. Going to a house. It looks like three systems are down. Or someone was there yesterday and I guess couldn't get the systems going. I'm not sure um, what happened, but anyway, gonna go look. I guess it's master bedroom, kitchen, and another part of the house with two zones. All different issues. Condensers not working, air handler not going on. I don't know. I had to look at it. But I uh, hope all is well. Today's kind of miserable. It's humid out, but it's cloudy too, so it sucks. Hence the humidity. But um, all right, let's check it out. Before I grab tools, I'm just gonna go in and see what's going on with this call. Yeah. <laughs> he said he went. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking assumption that the condenser or something like that thing is. They're both screwed up my nest. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Let, let's, let me start from scratch. So, yeah. you have three systems. He, the tech that was here yesterday told me one is zoned with two thermostats. Correct. Then there's, they're all in the attic. Then mm -hmm. there are single zones, two in another attic or whatever, but right. and none of the condensers were coming up. Okay. That, that's what I was told. I, 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 that's what his notes say, and I spoke to him on the phone. That, that, that's right. I, I wasn't here yesterday. Is what I can tell you is, is when the system was shut down last year. Yeah, but how is it cooled all, 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 on all, the 85 all the, degree? All the condensers were, were working. Well, one of them needed a recharge, but yes. Okay, but working. like the last couple of days when it was hot. Was well, we haven't turned anything on. We haven't, we, haven't, we haven't even turned them off. Oh, okay. So then, we, we use the like I said, he, cools down, we use the attic fan, so we don't bother. Okay. So I'll go through your systems and see what's yeah, turning yeah. on and what's not. According to him, one was wired just for heat, or, and that's yeah, the no, one no, with your nest? Changed. Yeah, because I took the, pulled the nest off, and I just chucked the cheap one on so I could heat. Yep. I have the nest there has to be reconnected. But are the wires there? So, yeah. Okay. Let me, um, let me, so zoned, zoned downstairs. That unit's running. Okay, this one, zoned, breaker was off downstairs zoned go upstairs and check it so we got two running and then one he disconnected his damage that wired it only to heat and we will see what's going on with that okay the real charm See what we have here. There's some lights. Oh yeah, it's safe. Oh, I thought it was a high voltage. Okay. Right, so this is the one that is running. It looks like a nice nasty train. switch okay, come over here this is the one that he wired to disconnect the, the nest because he said in the winter time this condenser kept running and running and running well it's like a double transformer thing to me let's see what we got going on here this is your condenser. Yeah. See that blown fuse, this guy. This triple fuses. That's what his real problem is. He's just lying about it. He's just lying about it. Okay, we're gonna chest out RNG. Right 
The transformer for the low voltage what? Where's, where's the transformer for the low voltage? Is it on the air handler or the, or the condenser? You have low voltage coming from the air handler to the condenser. Your transformer's in the air handler, your contactor's in the condenser. They work in concert. Or they should sometimes when they want to. So this guy's got the disconnect pulled downstairs, so we're gonna leave RGY jumped. We're gonna go see if we have 24 volts in our contactor because she's got no thermostat up top. Took it off in the winter time for some reason. Shut. Bag. I kind of wanted to use my Ted Cook low voltage short light that I bought yesterday. But I'll see if I'm going to need it. I don't think I'm going to yet today. Are uh, you coming? Wow, well, there's no high voltage hooked up. So it's not, it's not gonna be running. What's that? It's not gonna be running because you pulled the disconnect. So we're gonna go put, we're gonna go check. Yeah. Cause all of this inverter technology. It's like buying a electric car. Watch what happens with those. the one that wasn't running because of the summer because of the winter this one we got running for now yeah well this one i don't feel much heat i feel a little warmth there so you know because see this little hammer uh-huh or plunger people call it watch oh, it goes down watch this cool that's your thermostat that's your why in your comments okay now we want to find out why was it running all winter or whenever you found it, it, it right. I mean, it wasn't. It would just kick on and off? Kick on it. It could have been, for some reason, the Nest thermostat that went. It could have been, I don't know. It could have been, the Nest was heating up and it was. No, not heating up. It could have just been wired wrong to. Uh, that was, it was in there forever though. It never Oh, uh, it was. You yeah, said that. No, okay. It wasn't. I didn't, I didn't touch the, I touched the Nest after it started doing what it was doing. Well, let's, put, let's plug this in. Plug it in. Where are we at? Without our thermostat right now, you're moving water somewhere, which is probably the one we had running upstairs in the attic the entire time. So, now should this part without the thermostat? Only because I have it jumped out. Okay. So when I go upstairs and take my alligator clips off, it will stop running. So I know your plunger is not sitting shut because I could shut it off like that, right? Now, do you want me to go through these systems or not? I mean, they're going to charge you for the time. They're going to charge you if you want me to put the thermostat on the wall, like things like that. What's your charge to go through the system? It depends what I find. Like To, to go through, it's, you're going to pay $175 for each system. Diagnostic. Are they working? I mean, I, I got to hook up gauges. I, I, can't, I didn't even check a capacitor. And, and if you want the thermostat on the wall. Put in. You tell me. Alright. Um, see that I'm gonna have you come back out, right? If, 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 I would go through them, dude. It's, it's summertime. Because, I know because if they don't work, you're gonna have to call you back out. Yeah, now our our thing is it's diagnostic or repair. So if something needs to be repaired, you're not gonna pay the 175. You're gonna pay for the repair up per, per unit. So let's say this needs a capacitor. You will not pay the 175. You're going to tell me what it needs before Exactly. You well, I'm telling you right now, let's say they're running perfect. Right. It's 175, 175, 175. Okay. But if something's wrong with this one, let's say, you won't pay the 175 for it if you make the repair. Exactly. It's cost or re it's diagnostic or repair. It's, fair. it's very fair if you ask me. But I have to ask you before I... Okay? Um, all right. So let me go upstairs, pull the alligator clips off, 
You're gonna hook up the nest? You're not gonna blow the fuse this time? Well, the fuse was blown upstairs, that's why. No, 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 it was blown because you might have touched the common wire. That's what happens, so. Um, anyway. Fucking helicopter, bro. Talk about a chopper. Okay, now we'll go downstairs and wire his thermostat up. Okay, so here's your transformer for your heating, and here's your cooling right here. I put them in there for a reason. Sounds like a contact issue to me. Well, that's your nest. Contact there was no good. What's that? I just hooked up this contactor. I have him going to get my thermostat screwdriver to show him. This pulls in fine. This is just weak. Which is most likely what blew your 3 amp fuse upstairs. So this is pull in. And then we just pull it out like this. And it stops. So let me check your capacity. And it's made in China. China! All right, so here we got 45 and 5. So if we have the 5, and here's our 45, so your capacitor is going to be good. But let me just check it. There. No, no, no. Well, yeah, because it's China, but no, it'll last. If it's if it's been in here and it's and it's holding 45.1 and 5 exactly, you're good money there. Right. So we'll swap out the contactor. I think you're going to be good. Yeah. R410. Yeah, well, they'll tell you. All right, let's go check the temp split. He didn't want the other two systems looked at, just the one that was not working. So that's where we're at with that. But he understands. We didn't check pressures or components, so I can't diagnose if they're working properly. We got them going. That temperature coming out. You like them apples? guys thank you for watching please like and subscribe this is what i wanted to use today hopefully i, I was trying to anti di anti di y hvac youtube channel um check him out ted cook he uses this i like it it's better than the popper the popper i've blown transformers um i don't know if they just i don't know some people like them i, I don't use i don't like them at all but um, anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. This guy didn't want me to check the systems that were able to just start up. One had a breaker that was off downstairs. And the other one started. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. But he did not want to spend the money to go through the diagnostics. However, the one without the thermostat on the wall... He knew it was low every year or every couple years, he said, so he wanted me to go through it. So with my company, it's just cost of repair. Don't think we're that expensive. It's, it's um, I mean, diagnostic or repair. So if I was to diagnose it and they don't 
want to go ahead with the repairs, they're still going to pay the diagnostic fee like they should. If they do go ahead and they don't pay the diagnostic fee and they pay the repair fee. Pretty simple mathematics, if you ask me. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Take care.